morning folks and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be making a canoe trolley. Um, I'm thinking ahead to my canoe trip to Scotland in August. Uh, I know there are sections along that uh, route where you need to portage, you need to get out of the water and transport your canoe and all your gear between bodies of water and get back in again. Um, a canoe trolley makes life a lot easier. You can carry a canoe, um, you know, with the uh, with the carrying yoke on top of your on top of your head like this and walk with it, but then inevitably you then have to go back and get all of your other gear and you, you end up doing it in two or three trips and you know it's all heavy so having a trolley uh, just means that you can take all of your gear in one hit it's basically a cradle it's got wheels on the side you strap your canoe onto it and you can just pull your pull your canoe along it's like a trailer um, and you can take all of your gear in one hit it's a lot easier saves all that heavy lifting. Now I've had canoe trolleys in the past but I found that they're not ideally suited to a big Canadian canoe they're great for a kayak, you know, a sit on top kayak or a, or a paddle board, something like that, something smaller. Um, but as soon as you put a big, heavy, uh, open Canadian canoe on top, they become very unstable. I found that they just tend to tip over or they slide around on the bottom of the canoe. Um, it's a small surface area where they're in contact with the canoe as well, and it can cause the bottom of the boat to bulge up to sort of paint can, um, which obviously is not ideal. I've got a wooden boat, I really don't want to risk cracking the hull or anything like that, so I'm going to make one that has a, a bigger surface area, supports the canoe a bit better, and is wider. So the wheels are much wider to the side, and it creates a cradle which is lower. So the, the centre of gravity is, is lower on the canoe, and hopefully it should be a lot more stable and um, easier to use. I've got a rough idea in my mind of how I want this trolley to look, but really I'm going to make it up as I go along. Um, I've collected a load of materials together. It's mostly going to be made from upcycled uh, materials, and I've, I've had to buy a few other bits and pieces as well. Um, I've got an old bicycle trailer that I've had for years. Um, it's the one that I used to drag the kids around when they were small enough to go in it. Um, and it's been sitting in the garage collecting dust for years and years. Um, but there's some useful parts on it. The wheels, for example, I'm going to use. I've also got one of those military folding cot beds. Um, I bought this a couple of years ago with the intention of using it in the Land Rover as a sort of drop down bed. Um, it was a bit of a failed project. I played around with the idea and couldn't get it to work, so I ended up opting for the uh, the hammock, which you'll know about if you've seen that video. So I'm left with this um, with this cot frame, which is is all being chopped about. Um, so I thought I would use that. It's got some useful tubing on it. It's all uh, lightweight aluminium square tubing, um, so that's going to be good to keep the weight of this trolley down. Um, and there's various brackets and end caps and things like that which I'm going to use off it as well. I bought a length of pipe lagging which is used to insulate your central heating pipes in your house um, and this has an internal diameter which is the right size to fit over that square section aluminium tubing off the off the cot bed. I also have some webbing uh, with some buckles on which I'm going to use um, to, to strap the trolley onto the canoe and I've got some cable ties which I use to fix the lagging onto the framework as well. And I've bought a load of nuts and bolts. I'll be using a screwdriver, socket set, and adjustable spanner for taking apart the old bike trailer and cot bed. I'll use a tape measure and a marker pen for marking out where holes and things like that need to go. I'm gonna use an angle grinder and my bandsaw for cutting the tubing. Um, although, if you haven't got access to those things, you could just use a hacksaw and a file for tidying up the edges, that would be fine. Um, and I'm gonna use a drill with various um, drill sizes. As I'm in my workshop I'm probably going to use my pillar drill for most of the drilling um, that way I can ensure that my holes are accurate and that the holes are square all the way through the tubing um, but if you haven't got access again you know you can just use hand tools that'll be fine. Now that I've taken the bed frame apart, this is what I'm left with. Um, these are the original legs with this S-shaped bracket here, which enabled the leg to kind of fold like this. It's sort of folded like a, like a pair of scissors. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use those. I may do. These brackets here are corner brackets, and I think they're going to be useful for joining and for creating a pivot and a kind of hinge so that my trolley can fold up. So I'm sure they're going to come in handy. 
I've got some other brackets here in a T-shape. They'll be useful for joining. Um, I've got a load of these plastic end caps, which just uh, go inside the aluminium square tubing. They're gonna be useful just for closing off and making it all nice and neat. And I've got a load more nuts and bolts. So I've got a great big pile of usable material. I'm gonna take this outside now and have a measure up, offer these up against my canoe and see what I can do. Right, okay, I think I've got that sorted. My focus. New camera, getting used to it still. <laughs> uh, right, my longest um, piece of aluminium is 900 millimeters, which is just about right for my canoe. Um, I think I can make it work. I'm gonna have an upright like this at each end, and that's gonna hinge, so it'll fold flat, but it'll create a cradle when it's opened up, which will hold the canoe in place. I'm gonna make two of these, so um, it's kind of like a chassis and it'll uh, then spread the load over over two lengths, if you see what I mean. You know, there's quite a lot of weight in my canoe when it's fully loaded, and this is only very thin gauge aluminium, so um, I thought two is better than one. I've uh, got a bit of a problem. <laughs> I've made this up and I thought I'd just go and check it on the canoe and make sure that it fitted okay and it's too tight. It does, it does just slip over, but I want to use some of that pipe lagging on here and there's not enough room for the pipe lagging. If I try and um, you know, use it without the lagging, because this is aluminium, it's just going to mark the canoe um, every time it slides on and slides off. It's going to scratch it and just make a mess. So. Um, I can't make it any longer how it is because you know, I was limited by the length of these uh, bits of tubing which were 900 as I said earlier so I've had to rethink a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the S brackets that came off the uh, original legs of the cot bed um, because that way I can splay these uprights um, and they'll sit like this. It'll give me room by the time I've got another piece of um, tubing on the top here with the lagging on that will give me enough room and it will just grip the side of the canoe without actually marking it. I've drilled my holes for the S brackets 
Um, but before I go and put all that together and put the bolt through and everything, I just want to make up the, the framework which will form the sort of chassis of this trolley. So I'm going to have two shorter bits of aluminium which I need to cut to length and they're going to go on the ends like this, one on each end and I'll use those corner L brackets to fix them in place and that's just going to give the whole chassis, the whole trolley a lot more strength. The weight of the canoe is going to be sitting on two of these spread across two and the whole thing will just be a lot stronger. Right, I've got my frame. I'm pretty happy with that. It's good and strong. I just need to um, adjust the, what were the legs? Um, they need some bits cutting off because I don't need the bottom part of this um, S bracket here. Um, I only need the top part, so I'm gonna cut them off here and, um, and fit them on and then I'll check again, make sure it fits this time. My upright supports all cut to shape and smoothed off and I've just got to add the the top piece here so this is going to be covered in that pipe lagging and that's what's going to sit against the side of the canoe um, just to sort of cradle it so I want that to be soft and nice I'm going to use again these corner brackets they've been really handy um, but I'm running really low on bolts <laughs> um, so rather than going out and buy buy more um, I'm just going to use some pop rivets.
Well, I'm really happy with how the trolley fits over the canoe. It's a nice snug fit, grips the, grips the canoe well, doesn't move around. It's gonna be a nice cradle to hold the canoe while I'm, while I'm pulling it along, while I'm wheeling it around. Um, all that's left to do now is to add some straps and the wheels. Well, I'm absolutely delighted with that. That pulls really easily and it's gonna make, it's just gonna make it so much easier to, you know, lug my gear about in the canoe between bodies of water without having to do multiple trips. You know, to just leave all my bags in there and just put it around like a trailer. <laughs> um, it does weigh a bit more than the ones you could buy, um, you know, but I don't mind actually, you know, that it's that much more stable that it's, it's worth it. It still collapses down, the wheels come off, and the bars that run along the length of the canoe, they come off as well, they just hold on with wing nuts. Um, so, you know, it all stores away in the canoe, there's plenty of room in there, so it's not an issue. I'd say it weighs probably something between two and three kilograms, I haven't weighed it, but just estimating, you know, it's all made of aluminium, so it's, it's nice and light, and hopefully it'll be strong enough. I haven't given you any of the measurements for this in the video because, you know, I've made it for my canoe and all canoes are different. Um, you know, if you're gonna make one yourself, you just have to, take the measurements and, and work it out. Um, you could use one of those cots like I did, um, or you can go and buy the metal, you know, go to a metal merchants and you can buy um, aluminium square tubing and you can just buy it to the length for whatever you need for your canoe. I really like that I've been able to make it mostly out of uh, recycled materials. Um, it's, it's really nice to be able to do that. Not only because it hasn't cost me very much, <laughs> just the cost of the lagging and, the, and a, few, a few nuts and bolts, but um, it's just nice to reuse stuff rather than it going in the bin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.